will be coming from Psalms 91. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress. My God, in Him will I trust. Amen. I read Psalms 1, Psalms 91, 1 through 2, and I know it is sufficient because it is the Word of God. Amen. Amen.
Amen. Let the church say amen. amen. Is anybody in the house happy on this morning? Can anybody shout hallelujah? Do you know that God has been good? Amen. Has he been good to you? Did he wake you up this morning? Did he flow through the love of our life? Did he get you to lose the truth and act in your belly? Did he allow your soul to be loose on this morning? Did he allow your eyes to see today? Did he allow your legs to walk? If there is a God in the house, that's no God to do. Somebody tell God to do. Somebody tell all of us. All of us. If you ain't good, somebody step up on your feet and give the Lord a hand up. I heard somebody say that you don't know my God, though. I heard what the Lord has done for me. Uh-huh. And if you can't tell it, let's be tell what the Lord has done for me. Well, I want to let you know what he did for me. And that he saved my soul one right day. I'm gonna write down and he changed my life one day. Uh-huh, and I don't know what he saved my life from sin and misery. Somebody ought to shout hallelujah to him. Church folks sitting quiet and still, acting like they don't know who the Holy Ghost is. But somebody in the house, oh my man, give God a praise over there. They know they're still living, they're still moving, and if you don't have no fear, somebody ought to give them a praise. the other way. Uh-huh. I could be on my bed of affliction. Amen. It don't look like anybody here is on their bed. Somebody ought to shout hallelujah. And then I could have been in a hospital. Amen. And then I could have been in an institution. Amen. But ain't nobody here in an institution. Somebody ought to shout hallelujah. Amen. If you got food in your house, somebody ought to shout glory.
plate in the name of Jesus is glorified. And on behalf of our dynamic pastor, our beautiful first lady, we truly thank each and every one of you for coming to fellowship with us on today. Right. Knowing that you could have gone any other place, we want you to know that anytime our doors are open, uh -huh. you all are welcome. Uh, at this time, we still want to acknowledge our visitors. Would you please stand at this time? And
birthday to everyone. Happy anniversary. And we wish you all minty, 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 minty more. <laughs> Let's pray for the sick and shut in, Deacon James McNeil and Brother Jalen Jones. These have been your announcements.
will work it out. Amen. Is there a witness in the house? Who knows that Jesus will work it out? Amen. To God be the glory. Has he ever worked it out for you? Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. To God be the glory. What a wonderful, wonderful song by choir. Amen. Jesus will work it out. Amen. To God be the glory. God is so awesome. Amen. That he is always working behind the scenes. That before we even start going through what we will go through, he has already worked it out. Amen. Even though it has not manifested as of yet, he's already worked it out. Am I right about it? Amen. To God be the glory. Let me just say that I, I want to thank my church family for those of you who were able to come and support me on uh, first Sunday in Wilson and Hyatt College. Amen. I really appreciate you, amen, coming to support me amen. on that service. Amen. 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 We truly had a wonderful time, amen. And, and it wouldn't have been what it was without you all and your support. So I do highly, highly appreciate it. Thank you so much. Amen. 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 Um, we Somebody just shout hallelujah. Amen. Amen. At this time, we're going to get ready for our offering. Amen. Amen. And we're going to ask that everyone would stand as we make our profession of giving. Amen. For those who don't know it, you look at the pew in front of you and see a sheet or a handout, the BAM profession of giving. Amen. By which we will make our profession at this time. Amen. Amen. How many of you know that it is a blessing? to be able to give back to the one who gives to you. Yeah. Amen. To God be the glory. This ought to be a joyous time in every service when you are able to honor the Lord with your substance. And as the scriptures say, with the first fruits of all your increase. Amen. Knowing that without God, amen, we wouldn't have anything to give. Yeah. Amen. So we ought to honor him. Amen. If you have a job, amen, you have income, and you fail to honor God, amen, with him blessing you with this income, amen, that's an insult to God, amen, and it does need to change. Am I right about it? Amen. amen. So where there's life, there's always hope, amen, for those who are not obedient, amen, we're going to continue to pray, but you've got to make a conscious decision that if I work and if I get a check, I owe God Amen. His 10% off the top. Amen. Amen. And out of the 90% that's left, I owe him a free will offer. Amen. 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 And let me tell you, contrary to what the devil tell you, you ain't going to lose giving to God. Amen. If anything, you're going to gain. Amen. Am I right about it? Amen. Amen. To God be the glory. Are we ready? Amen. Everybody all together. Father God in heaven, in the precious name of Jesus Christ, I thank you for this gift which I hold in my hand. I gladly own it with my substance and with the first fruits of all my increase. I'm bringing my tithes and offerings into the storehouse rejoicing that provision will be made for this house of God. I am a generous giver as you are a generous God. So as I joyfully give this gift, I thank you, Father, that what I give shall be given unto me. Good measure, pressed down, Shake together and run it over shall be given to my bosom. With this gift, I'm so bountifully into the kingdom of God. Therefore, I shall reap bountifully in my personal life. And as I sow, my spirit is strong, my mind is bright, my health is great, my bills are paid, my needs are met, my family is blessed, prosperity is mine, and born again ministry is thriving in every area possible. By the will of God. I am blessed. I am blessed. Thank you, Lord. I am blessed. See, Lord. You believe it? Shout hallelujah. God bless us in the hand of the ushers. Let me just say, I'm thrilled to have the 
son back in the house. A co-worker, amen. She came on Fifth Sunday and enjoyed with us, and she's back again. We're happy to have you.
just say thank you, thank you, oh Lord God. Yes, Lord. Just say thank you that we love you, oh Lord yes, Lord. God. Oh Lord God, we thank you for the tithes and the offering, oh Lord God. Oh Lord God. We thank you for the ones that gave and the ones that they had the desire to give, oh Lord God. And we just want to ask you, Lord God, to bless and stretch you, oh Lord God, and this morning, oh Lord God. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Amen. We give them glory. We give them all. We 
come to God on today, my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Uh -huh. Amen. To my pastor, Pastor Strong, to all the ministers, to all the deacons, all the deaconess, saints, and friends. Amen. Uh -huh. True is a blessing just to be back in the house of the Lord just one more time. Amen. Right. I'm going to ask you to um, turn to Luke chapter 21, verse 25 through 36. That's Luke 21. 25 through 36. And as you stand, when you get it, hallelujah, now I'm going to pray. Father God in heaven, in the name of Jesus, Lord, ask you just to speak to me, God, as I speak to myself and your people. Use me for your glory, God, in the name of Jesus, and move self out of the way. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. 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 It's Luke chapter 21, 25 through 36. Yes, sir. And it reads, and there shall be signs in the sun and in the moon and in the stars and upon the earth, distress of nations with perplexity. The sea and the waves roaring, men's hearts filling them for fear and for looking after those things which are coming on the earth. For the powers of heaven shall be shaken. Huh? And then shall they see the Son of Man coming in a cloud with power and great glory. And when these things begin to come to pass, uh -huh. then look up and lift up your heads uh -huh. for your redemption joy now. Uh -huh. And he spake to them in a parable, speaking of Jesus, Behold the fig tree and all the trees, when they now shoot forth, ye see and know of your own selves that summer is not at hand. Uh -huh. So likewise ye, when ye See these things come to pass, know ye that the kingdom of God is not at hand. Verily well, yeah. I say unto you, this generation shall not pass away till all be fulfilled. Uh, Heaven and earth shall pass away, but my words shall not pass away. Uh, and take heed to yourselves, lest at any time your hearts be overcharged with serpentine and drunkenness and cares of this life, mm -hmm. and so that they come upon you unaware. Uh -huh. For as a snare shall it come on all them that dwell on the face of the whole earth. Uh -huh. Watch ye therefore, and pray always, that ye may be accounted worthy to escape all these things uh -huh. that shall come to pass, uh -huh. and to stand before the Son of Man. All right. Amen. My title for the day is Are You Ready? All right. Amen. Amen. You may be seated. Are you ready? I didn't hear you. You didn't answer me. Are you ready? I don't think you're hearing me. Well, hear what I'm saying. I asked you a question. Are you ready? Thunderstorm. 
summer really got me to thinking, will I be ready when Jesus comes? So you can ask yourself the question, am I ready? Are you ready? If Jesus should come today, are your bags packed? Or do you have some loose ends that need to be tied up? In the scripture, Jesus is telling us to be ready. Luke verse 20 through 24 came to pass in about 70 AD. And verses 8 through 19, as well as our text for today, speak of the time just before the second coming of Jesus. Amen. The rapture, the raising of the church into heaven, 1 Thessalonians 4 and 17, is the next event of the prophetic calendar. The rapture is when Christ comes back and takes every Christian that is still on this earth and resurrects all of those who have died in Christ from the dead and takes them to heaven with him. In 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, 1 through 8, Paul expresses that we need to be sober, putting on the breastplate of faith and love for the hope of our salvation. 2 Corinthians 5 and 10, for me, we must all appear, say, for me, we must all appear before the judgment seat of Christ. Yeah. So that each of us may receive what is due us for the things that we have done while in this body. Uh -huh. According to that he had done, whether it be good, bad, ugly, pretty, whatever. Whatever you have done, uh -huh. you're going to have to give an account for it. Amen. Uh -huh. John 14 and 3, Jesus says, And if I go and prepare a place for you, uh -huh. and they will come back and take you to be with me, that you also may be where I am. Come on. Luke 10 and 20 says, However, do not rejoice, the Spirit submit unto you, but rejoice that your names are written in heaven. Come on, Matthew 24 and 31, Jesus is saying, He will send his angels with a great sound of a trumpet, uh -huh. and they will gather his elect from four winds, from one end of the heaven to the other. Come on. People in Jesus' time were very fearful and worried about the uncertainty of things that were going on. Uh -huh. The truth is, the scripture for today sounds like it could have came from this week's news or last week's news headlines. World leaders aren't in agreement about anything. Come on. People don't feel safe in their own homes uh, or in their communities. Right. And towns and people worry about the safety of their children. They worry about them even going out to school. They worry about them going out to public places. Uh, I mean, you just want to keep them home just to keep them safe. Come on. There is just a sense of fear in people's minds that used to, used to not ever be there. Because I remember a time we would stay out in Southern Terrace till 11 and 12 o'clock at night. And our parents were not worried about us. We would walk from one end of Southern Terrace in the trailer park to the other end of Southern Terrace in the trailer park. And nobody had to worry about us. But if you walk out your front door today, walk to the neighbor's house, you have to be worried about your children. Because there's so much evil and corrupt stuff that is going on in this world. Amen. Not only are there mass shootings, and rises in the streets and at the borders, amen. There are wars and rumors of wars, there are famines, there's an increase of wickedness and evilness in this world. There are earthquakes just about every week or every other week uh, in this world like you've never heard before. Children are disobedient to their parents. There are natural disasters happening like we have never seen them before. I have never seen so many hurricanes destroy stuff in all my life. Amen. And right now, there's another storm out there brewing in the sea. And we don't know what is going to happen. But we can just pray and ask God to just keep us going. It's a praying time. It's time to pray for ourselves. And it's time to pray for everybody else. All right. Add all of those things to the stress we already live in with our fast-paced life. Right. And we can begin to identify with what Jesus was talking about. We may even be thinking already, what is uh -huh. What if it happens in my community? Right. What if it happens in my workplace? Right. What if, 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 if I'm not ready, what is going to happen? Right. What is going to happen if the church is not prepared? Right. What if? Amen. Uh -huh. Jesus is asking us today, what if? Mm -hmm. What if I come back? Mm -hmm. Are you ready? Come on, Are you prepared? Yes. Hallelujah. Jesus is saying, I've already given the warning and sounded the alarm, so be ready. All right. Jesus says that 
when these perilous times are upon us, uh-huh. that we should stand up and lift up our heads because our redemption is drawing now. Come on. Come on. Right. Then Jesus breaks it down for us, for all of us. Uh-huh. He says, we know that summer is near mm-hmm. when the leaves begin to come out on the trees and the bushes. Right. We know that summer is close when the daffodils start to bloom and the leaves begin to bud out all of the trees. All right. Just like when we see the things that let us know summer is near, uh-huh. when we see the things happening that Jesus has told us would be signs of the end as Christians uh-huh. would be, then we know that the kingdom of God is near. All right. We know that Jesus is on the way uh-huh. and that we need to be ready right. when Jesus comes. Not I want to be ready, but ready when Jesus comes. You would think that folks would look around and see the writing on the wall. Uh Especially church folks, but sadly, some of them don't. Uh It's just like Christmas Day. When we celebrate the birth of Christ, when Christmas comes, some people aren't ready. Uh They are still shopping and preparing for Christmas Day on Christmas Eve. You know that what's even worse, they would say, wow. Christmas snuff up on me this year. Right. Hello, hello. Christmas is always December the 25th every year. It doesn't sneak up on you. Sometimes we just fail to be ready. There will be a lot of people trying to pack their bags when it's too late. They will say, Lord, I didn't know. I thought I had more time. Why didn't you give me a call? Why didn't you give me a text and let me know that you were on the way? Jesus has told us he was coming back. Events have been unfolding unfolding and continue to unfold. The signs are there as clear as leaves on the trees in the spring. So be ready. Be ready, be ready. Right. Jesus hasn't left us with a spirit of fear and uncertainty. Uh-huh. He has told us what we need to do. All right. I'm going to paraphrase it so we can understand a little bit better in uh-huh. 34 through 36. Uh-huh. But be on your guard. Uh-huh. Don't get caught up in partying uh-huh. and going to the club. Uh-huh. Don't let uh, going to the club and partying hinder you. Uh-huh. Don't let sexual immortality. Yeah. Don't let gossiping. Uh-huh. Don't let drinking and getting drunk. Uh-huh. Hallelujah. Uh, stop you from being ready when uh-huh. Jesus comes. Uh-huh. If you think you're having a good old time, uh-huh. amen, you're not having a good time uh-huh. unless you're in Jesus. Amen. Uh-huh. Hallelujah. Uh-huh. Glory to God. So don't let that good old time uh-huh. hinder you from being ready uh-huh. when Jesus comes. Well, Thank you. 
start reading your basic instructions before leaving this earth. The Bible, amen. You will find out that it's not going to be fun and games after the rapture, after Jesus crept the sky. Hallelujah. Take us back with him, amen. There's not going to be no fun and there's not going to be no games. You might be partying. You might be, hallelujah, doing what you want to do. You might be doing what you think you have a good time. Hallelujah, glory to God. But there's going to come, hallelujah, time, hallelujah, when you have to take the mark of the beast before you can eat, before you can drink, before you can buy any clothes. Hallelujah, I don't know about you, but I don't want to be left behind. Come on, you don't know about this thing.
that need a church home, amen, yeah. that need some peace in their life. All right. Hallelujah, glory to God. Hallelujah, we're asking you to come at this time. Glory. Amen. You don't have to be perfect, amen, to come to Christ. Glory to God. Hallelujah. We are striving for perfection. None of us are perfect. None of us cross our every T and dot every I. Hallelujah. But we do try to live holy. Amen. We do try to live by what the word says. Amen. Yes. Hallelujah. Glory, glory. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus. Glory, glory, glory. Jesus, Jesus is knocking at the door of your heart. Amen. Why don't you let him come in? No matter what you're going through, let him in. Yeah. Okay. 